Hi guys in this video let's talk about the problem subsequent string as per the problem description you are given a string a and an integer array b each of size n each element in array denote the cost of corresponding character of a so you have to choose a subsequence of string a equal to string c such that the cost is minimized the cost of subsequence would be sum of cost of individual characters chosen from a and you have to find that minimum cost If you cannot have a subsequence equal to c, simply return minus one. So these are the problem constraints, and let's see the sample input. So a is given as a b b a b a, and b has the cost of each character. So a for this a is three, then this b is five, and so on. Two, four, one, one. Now c is given as a and b. So a b is the string c. we have to find subsequence in a which is ab so we have to choose so we'll choose this a and this b because it's going to give us the minimum cost and we will simply return here 4 in this case in the second input a is equal to abc and c is equal to bca so there is no way to find a subsequence in a which is which matches with c so we will return minus 1 let's see how can we approach this problem This problem can be easily solved using dynamic programming. If a character in string A matches with the character in string C, two cases are possible. In the first case, so it can be so the character can be either picked and added to the answer that means the cost of it can be added to the answer and in the second case the character can be skipped. So if when there is no match, we will simply skip that character in A. Now let's see the code for the problem so this is the top down dp solution and here we have taken the 2d matrix right which is which is initialized to minus 1 uh, then we have called the function so 0 0 0 abc are passed as parameter to this function and here i is initialized to 0 j is initialized to 0 i is keeping track of all the characters in a and j will be keeping track of all the characters in c this is the base condition where if if the if all the strings are in a have already been traversed and if we have also traversed the string in c that means we have actually found one of the possible result so let us return zero which won't affect the answer right and uh, if if characters in a are all traversed but in character but in string c we have still uh, there are still left some characters which needed to be traversed so we will return int max which will tell us that okay uh we we uh, haven't found our result so that's why int max because it's the maximum value uh so we need the minimum possible value that's why we are returning int max so this statement tells us that okay if some intermediate result has already been calculated so return the result from the stored dp right otherwise calculate it and so if the character matches we will find the minimum we will take the minimum of the already available answer or we will take the uh, the result which we will get after taking that character so we are adding the cost of that character and we will be incrementing our i we will be incrementing our j so this is the now this is the uh, line where we won't be taking that character so that's why we have not added any cost and we have simply moved one character uh, in a but we won't move one character in c because that character is still to be matched now simply return the result so if the answer becomes equal to int max that means no possible solution is there so return minus 1 otherwise return the answer the complexity in terms of time and space it's going to be order of n square so thank you so much